tank. Then we have MBL Pocket Koreans. Oh boy, whoops, I've got to change the game scene. Yep, here we are. Korean Pocket, interesting. And then Aztec Flank Valiri. In the purple, we do have the Max playing as the Franks towards the north. On his left, we are going to in the orange, playing as the Mongols. Towards his south, his ally, we do have Zupi as the Portuguese in the red. Then all the way over to the on the other side of the map there, in the yellow, we do have Rubenstock here again, playing as the Teuton. The Teuton seems like a really strange Civ choice, to be honest. Like, they don't yeah. really have any amazing bonuses, right? Like, cheaper farms is cool and all that, but other than that, they don't really do anything. I guess... Maybe the, con <laughs> the conversion bonus might be useful, but like there's no gold, so like a monk rush isn't likely. I guess trushing, probably? That was my guess with the extra garrison, because as we know, this is a very, very limited map in terms of space until you kind of crack out into the outer shell. But I guess if you can, can kind of control this inner area with some towers, especially with the amount of berry bushes around, could potentially help, but that's like my best bet. Obviously got knights and things as well, but to the thing is, they're a good heavy sieve. They're just missing some key upgrades. Yeah, and like, they don't have any like super strong bonuses in the early game, which is the problem. Like, Aztecs, Incas, like, they're all fast, like, Drush, Man at Arms, Towers, Civs like that. Even Burmese, right? They're all Man at Arms and Towers, yeah. essentially. Whereas for the other team, like, Portuguese, it's like, well, Fricado is, I guess, kind of cool. It lets you tell what's happening on the map. Franks, obviously, is nice because there's so many berries and they've got pretty good scouts. Mongols, there's quite a few. Deer. Franks, yeah. Awesome, top tier. Like, they're top tier as is on this kind of a map. Absolute top tier. Yeah, but like, it's just the Portuguese and the Teuton Civs that's just like, well, what? Like, they just don't seem normal. Like, he's not even making his lumber camp on the outside wood line, which I guess is something we should talk about. Normally, you try to build your lumber camp on the wood line and then sort of chop your way to freedom to gain access to the gold, <laughs> the relic, and the extra stones, right? You see, basically every player is doing it, except for Rubenstock. He just chucks it on the first wood line he's found and just going, what? All right, I'm I'm hoping there's a plan behind this because the Civ the Civ choices, like you said earlier, they're weird. The lumber camp positioning there for stock is weird. I'm hoping that a ridiculous kind of situation we're gonna see here. Someone's gonna go for something stupid, like Rubenstock deletes his TC and drops it right on top of Hera or something like that. Just tries to take someone out of the game. But there needs to be something behind this. I I don't. Th that's the thing. Suomi have been playing too well to just let a map go because they don't know it very well. That's the thing. I, I can't see that happening. And looking across pretty much all the exact sign of play for MBL, Heart, Hera, everyone, they've got their lumber camps in the outer area. They want to, like you said, cut their way to freedom, move in, get the gold. And once they've got the gold, as we know in Age of Empires in general, once you've got gold, gold's the absolute king. Once you get those gold units in play, if your opponent's just got trash, eventually they will be overwhelmed. That's it, exactly. And mostly it's just, it gives you more space that's really easy to defend, right? It sort of turns into like a mini Oasis style map on the outside. Because, you know, you just chuck up some stone walls from the edge of the map to the middle wood line thing. And then, you know, you've got all this free, safe, booming space in the back. Compared to in this middle area where it's just open as all hell. And you can get raided by scouts and knights everywhere, basically. Exactly. And I guess probably the other thing here. Look at how close Lyrian and Zoop. Oh, Another yeah. old game here as well. And if he holds it out, he's already got the practice from the last game. This could put him in a great situation again for AM. Just to just push through, have an extra player up, and just eventually steamroll the entire map. But Hera's slowly getting some wall ups towards the center here. Well, I feel like at this point, Leary on the left-hand side is probably going to be the main aggressor, right? Aztecs versus Portuguese. Like, it's clearly a better sieve for the early game. And what is Rubenstock doing? This is what I want to... Come is on, he drop it down... Is he douching? Stop the town center. It. This is what I... It's a douche. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I guess that's an early game, but it's going to help. Oh, boy. What are we seeing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? There we go. You're going to vil fight this, Hera. You don't have loom. Loom, Hera, you're losing your vils. What are you doing? What? No loom goes <laughs> for it anyway with two villages versus... Look, those are some heroic... Vil... <laughs> those are some heroic villages, but... Yeah, like oh two, man, this two, is yes. Two bills versus that many bills? No, you can't fight that. What was the point? I agree, but I am having fun now, and this is going to be a great series. And oh, uh, look at that! One villager down on total there before the dishes even really began. And looks like this is it for Hera. You are out of running for now. Let's figure out how we can deal with this thing. And of course, look at the amount of damage coming through from that town center. I'm not even sure. Hera's in no position whatsoever to do anything against this. 
And like, I think the really big problem here is that Hera has no access to food income at this point, right? All three of his berry bushes, well, I guess two of them are his and one is somebody else's. They're on the front. They're near this TC. He can't easily gather them. He's got 69 food in the bank. He can make one villager and that's it, right? What's he going to do? This is good. This is really good. Very well there. In fact, Rubenstock, awesome play. But like you said, cut off the berry bush is going to force the farms from here as well. That said, I, we do have a very, very close barracks coming up from Hearts. So Hearts looking to board the max here as well by looks of things. But yeah, I guess early game right now. The Teuton's not so worried about their early game, I guess. They're just going to go for it, try and take one player out. And of course, the one village they're repairing there will kind of delay this push. But man, Feudal Age is incoming. Let's see how this impacts the rest yeah. of the matchup. And on the left-hand side, MBL is starting his trush. Leary's dropping an archery range, possibly going to make some spearmen as well. While Hart is also doing his forward tower and his barracks. Whew. They're going all in. He's got plus one armor? No, he has not. He has not got the barracks yet. Just spear and eagle rush, it seems. Along with some towers on the left-hand side. Whoa, I love it. They call it fit. This is just insanity. We are... We've seen someone delete their town center. Style strategy here with the Teuton. We're seeing Illyri push forward with some towers. We've got MBL push forward to help out here as well. We've got Hart on the front with his own barracks, own aggressive tower here, denying again some berries, getting another tower from the max forced up. This is it. This is what we're here for. This is a phenomenal map. And look, for game two of a series, this, yeah, is, well, sort of th this is what you expect from Chaos Pit. It's always the crazy map. The problem is that like, MBL's trush is sort of stopped at the moment. His tower is being bashed down by these scouts. His villagers are stuck inside. And honestly, like the biggest question on my mind is where is Hera going to build a TC, right? Because until he chops out, the only flat area is in the middle of the map. Because like you can't place the TC on these two tile wide hills. So if, if, he, if he keeps it up a little while longer, it's not bad. He's got 78 left, 62 on another. So he might potentially be able to push out. He might actually first town center outside the chaos pit, I should say. And that'd be that'd be kind of awkward. No, but it, hey, it would work. But the problem is, oh no, look at Max's scouts here to kill off these villagers trying to no. repair. Oh, he can't even garrison. No, heart. Yes, is... it's beautiful. <laughs> Hera is just it's getting beautiful. bashed on here. And ah! is Ruben just going to build another TC? Where is he going? Oh, he's got what, what a lot of wood. About this? He's got 600 wood. I think he's just going to make another tower. Oh, they're trying to place palisade walls to block the TC. Is Ruben stock, stock about to go again? He's, it looks like it. Where's he going to build it though? Where's he going? He's got that gap just towards the top. Oh, he's going to chop down the, uh, the tree and build it on top? Maybe? Where's he going? Uh, there's so many little palisades. This is here from <laughs> the little palisades for stopping him build that unit up there. And that's a lot of villages. They might look against these scouts. It's not great, but he's got the number advantage. Okay, and he's there's found a spot to build it. Villages. And all Hart's trying to go for a defensive tower, but look at how many villages there are here trying to build it. What can you do against this? He's just going around. He is. He's committed. We could give him that. There's, this is there's more villages coming as well. And the scouts are here. The tower, the tower's denied. The TC is up. The ever-living douche is I'm... continuing. This game oh, might boy. break me if we have. If we have to stay in Dark Age and just moves his way slowly around the. Right. Like, if he kills this TC, can he then go douche MBL as well and just douche like half the team and then move on and get Leary as well? Just do it to everybody. Well, at at this stage, look, he's even collecting stone there. He can just collect it up, make sure he's got enough. For the next one and move on. What can Hart do about it? Uh, Looking around, he's got like no units here he can play with. This is all his economy or all his military at the, this moment is forward. He's got his villagers up there creating towers. All he needs to do is just take this town center out and look how close it already is to death. He's got the win there. It's just about half health. And then, yeah, he deletes and he goes again. It just versus MBL. Oh, Even hilarious. then, the max is keeping, this, it's keeping the gap open because he's got the scout sitting there waiting. Oh, yeah, he's just there to kill whatever villagers try to run away. There are two spearmen here, so it's going to be a little bit dicey for Max. He might get one or two villagers if he's really fast. Oh, there's an injured villager. Instantly dead. But yeah, these two spears, I think, will be enough to force the scouts just to be a little bit careful at the moment. But Oh, absolutely. But look at the... Oh, man, that town center's already on its way down. This is... Yeah, remember how I said this is weird? Things phenomenal must be about... Yeah, this is just crazy. I am so happy I said that. We've got... The Mac's already on the outer ring here, trying to kind of get his wall up started. 
So he is going to play this a little bit more away for style. Hera has managed to put his own town center up in the back here as well. He's got a gold control there. He's got some wood control too. Will actually be the first player on gold by the looks of it here as well. So I guess it's kind of working out a little bit for him. But look at this. Valise. <laughs> Not even Valise, sorry. The Max and everyone is over in the south corner here. We've got villagers from Rubenstock as well. Looks like he's ready to deal with the spears. So the scouts can kind of do what they need to. And then you've got Hera doing his best around here as well. This is just psycho. He's just running around like crazy madmen. Like, one TC's down. The villagers are migrating again. Yeah. Where's the third TC coming? MBL? MBL, are you going to prepare for it? He must be prepared. Where are those little pieces? Everywhere. Like, you'd those expect... Like, you've seen two of your teammates have their TC's destroyed at this point. Oh, these scouts are having a field day, too. Yeah, this like... is... So oh. well premeditated. So well premeditated. This is exactly what I expect from a map like Chaos. Anything can happen if a team walks in prepared. This is what happens. I'm just wondering, like, what is Ruben doing with his villages? Like, yeah, he's building a tower, but is it really worth your time destroying the tower? Just keep douching. Continue the TC. The TC rush is so much more fun than this. Ignore oh, it's tower. been so effective. <laughs> it's been so effective. How many, looking, he's got much economy back home as well. He's got like five villages on wood. Uh, that, that's a couple villages on berries. Like, berries while yeah. they're there. And there's them. some berries as well in in between Hart and Hera's base. But like, the funny thing uh, yep. is he has more villages than Hart and Hera. And MBL <laughs> as well. Like, what the hell? And the douche is coming. He's deleted the TCT. He's coming for MBL. MBL, come on, man. All right. Are you, you're not ready for this. You're not prepared. <laughs> How can you not be prepared at this stage? <laughs> what? Look, they're just walking over. There's nothing here. We've got... And look at even the Millicon... The amount of scouts there, what are those villagers going to do about it? We've got the TC getting thrown out. It's right next to the blacksmith as well, so he can even take that one out. This is a long game strategy here. What? MBL? What? I don't get it. You've got villagers over the back of the Max's base trying to put up some towers. That's great and all, but how effective is that going to be when you lose your own town center back at home? It's just not doing anything. Like, where are these villagers going? They're trying to make another tower in, like, the north of Rubenstock's base? I mean, like, his, oh, I guess it's TC. That's kind of his base. Oh, there's a quick pause there, it seems. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, we've just got, yeah, AM to deal with this. Give him five minutes to just chill. But at the moment, yeah, I guess at least he's got his main town center outside of kind of the pit now. You've got Hera outside of the pit. So, look, I, I guess it's kind of working out a little bit there. Leary's looking pretty good the way he's spread out here at the moment as well. So, not too bad from him. In fact, up in Castle Age as well. So, throwing up a ca uh, an extra town center in the back there. And Eagle Warrior on the way. It could make a big change here, especially against the town center kind of strategy we've seen from Rubenstock. But the question is, has the damage been done? I think the main problem is like, yes, Hart and Hera are on the outside. But they're both in feudal and they both have really fragile economies at this point, right? Like, Max is doing some more forward walls, trying to secure more of the map. If he comes around there with, like, Siege Workshops and Knights and just charges into them, they're both feudal age. Like, they can't kill, you know, two Mangonels and four Knights, basically. Like, that will GG them by itself, basically, at this point. And even then, look at this. You've got Valise getting prepared as well, because he's going into Long Swords. He's got Chainmail. He's kind of moving to that Eagle yeah. Warrior option. Yeah. So he, it could he, happen, he knows, and... He knows the Eagles are coming. They can see them running around the outside, trying to harass the villagers walling up. And the funny thing at this point is, like, MBL is really low on wood. Like, he keeps on running out of wood and not being able to repair his TC almost. Ooh, I'm really liking the... So it was handy. He was able to get kind of... Just push them away. But... Uh, how's Rubenstock looking in terms of resources? Has he got enough wood himself? Not really. He's running out of repair options here. Using those villages is meant to be repairing and garrisoning the TC. But here come the Eagle Warriors. This is what we're worried about. Eagle Warriors under the town center, of course. Gonna be able to clean this up very quickly. Uh, the thing, I don't think it's worth it to just suicide your Eagles trying to kill some of these bills underneath the TC, though, right? Like, Rubenstock is the weakest player on the other team. Do you really want to focus your army on killing him instead of, you know, the actually useful players in the game? Like, it's, it well, I like guess a that's it. Hey, the more time they spend kind of trying to deal with Rubenstock, you've got Zoopy, Belize, uh, Zoopy, everyone just booming up behind them. Yeah, exactly. Like, Zuppy seems to be in, like, full sling mode at this mode. He's just slinging all of his resources to Max. Max is dropping stables on the outside on the right-hand side. He, unluckily, it's just too late. Hera's got his walls up. But it looks like Max actually has a villager snuck in the back of their base down in the south corner. I'm looking. I'm looking. There is indeed. Okay, so... Look like, at this. This has been one tricky, kind of, one tricky move after another. 
this is phenomenal. Yeah, like at some point, you know, he's just gonna mash a couple stables, get a huge number of knights going, and just charge out there. But oh no, poor Rubenstock, his TC, he's given up on the douche. The douche is over. Wherever these villagers run to, they're just retreating across the middle of the map, being picked off by these eagles. I feel a little Ooh, bit bad play, for Rubenstock. Though. Like, he's I didn't been do so, it well, he's been so hilarious. Like... like, I want him to continue douching, but no, he's just built a TC <laughs> somewhere. It says he's up to Feudal Age. No, he's just doing it in his TC that's 200 HP. He's researching Feudal Age. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I that's think that's ballsy, but a there's, little bit optimistic. There's only the one tower attacking at this point. It, it might... Okay, no, the eagle's there as well. Now it's not going to make it. I was about to say, if he gets that, that's Yeah, ridiculous. right. That would be hilarious if the TC got to Feudal Age. <laughs> 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 While just sitting there in the middle of the enemy base. At the same time, though, look at... He knows he's in a good safe position. Yeah, he can build up behind this one, but that was such a strong play. Such a strong play there as well. I'm really impressed on how this is going. Rubenstock is the player that got sent in intentionally to kind of red card out of the game, take out as many players on his way as he could. And at this stage, I would say it's worked. Behind this, you've also got the Max as kind of secret stable. Seen it now by Harris, a couple of spears there, so it's not going to be overly effective, but the villagers still running around trying to hide behind this. And looking at the economies right now, oh man, Suomi is looking good. Yeah, well, the thing is, though, Leary's up to Imperial Age as the Aztecs, and at the moment, it looks like he's basically being triple slung by all of his teammates. So I think at this stage, they're basically all in on Leary making a ton of eagles and just killing everyone. Like, he needs to get in there, he needs Back. to raid everybody's economy, slow down their booms, give himself time to get in there, get a powerful economy going as well, and just start to make eagles and onagers, maybe? Or just switch into champs himself at some point. Look, it could be really effective, actually, like, thinking, like, you can get up and just kind of send the eagles to try and take out the eagles. Absolutely an option. It could really kind of push them back into this one. But, mmm. Oh, some good mangonel shots. Yeah. The problem really is, well though, like, if, by Leary. If, unless they just keeps on making long swords, and if the team manages to stonewall up, the eagles are going to be really slow down. Okay, and Rubenstock, he's got his TC up now on the right-hand side, on the wood and the stone, up to Feudal Age. He's getting there. He'll be alive again <laughs> someday, I guess. How do the people? He's probably just going to switch into slinging, though, which is not that interesting. But, you know, he did his bit for the team. Oh, look, anyone who says he... Oh. Sacrificed himself to make things happen. Yeah. And this is how it went. Got Leary just about hitting Imperial now. Eagle Warrior obviously going to become Elite Eagle Warrior from there. We did have Elise uh, ready, basically, with the long sword, so He knows what's going on here. But the Eagle Warriors just might still be too much. Uh, it's just gonna be, where is he gonna push though? Okay, there are some holes in their walls, but, and I guess to be fair, Hart still has his towers and MBL's towers in the middle of the map, keeping a gap open. So those eagles, they can always just run straight through there, past the towers, into Max's base, try to slow him down before he gets mass knights rolling. Even then, how are we looking? It looks like the Max has a there with a couple of pieces of stone wall as well. So he has thought about this one. Looking around the side there, the next to Hera, the walls haven't been finished, so he could be caught out on that side of the map. And even then, looking towards, he has walled off the top side here, so it's not quite a big issue there. But I guess that kind of right corner or east corner is where we can have some problems. Uh, like it. Okay, MPL is up the castle age. Is he just going to continue crushing? He's got bills coming forwards. Koreans, I guess it's just going to be endless to crush from MBL. He's got a lot of stone. Okay, maybe a forward castle. Something like that. I oh, guess, yeah, Ford Castle open this. Uh, Especially the elites now. Start going in for some war wagons if you don't. Going up to Castle Age, so it looks promising. Yeah, it's just these eagles, they need to get in there and do some damage. And Turk, your mic is cutting out quite a bit when you're talking. Are you able to fix your sensitivity no! settings? I can have a look and see what's up. Give me two minutes. You take over. I'll take over. Okay. Left hand side, it looks like Villessi is getting a siege workshop, more barracks, more long swords, trying to push into Leary, try to slow him down a bit, distract him from the push in the middle of the map. Max is nice, they are running around the, I guess, the middle of their outside pit space, but both sides, they're pretty fully walled up at this point. The knights can't do too much damage. MBL's got quite a lot of spearmen, gonna get pikemen at some point. Then. Otherwise, at the moment, okay, Leary's Eagles, they're trying to find a way into Max's base. But 
There's just stone walls everywhere. And this TC is basically useless to Max at this point in time. All right, hopefully that fixed it. We'll see how that decides to go from there. I've just dropped the sensitivity a whole bunch, so fingers crossed that's what it is. And I know Discord doesn't like me sometimes, so it okay. could be that as well. No, I'm hearing but you loud and clear. Again. It sounds pretty good. Yes, that's what we want. Fantastic. And I guess the thing is as well, if you're using, depending on the mic you're using, it could be super sensitive as well if you lean away. So be careful on that front. But MBL, yep. what are we seeing from you? His hit castle age. Is... Oh, where's his castle? I guess it's just guard towers at this point. He hasn't dropped any castles. There's just the one tower he's built. Going to continue pushing through the middle. So, oh, but Leary's got Onager. He's about to cut through and outside and all of his eagles. Oh boy, this is going to be bad. Like there's no defenses in this entire area. There's yes. just villages everywhere. And they're, they're all going to die. Make it happen. Oh boy. This is where it's at. This is how you deal with a ridiculous strategy. You go and you raid. Every advantage they get, you pull it away. This is exactly the kind of strategy they needed behind this. Looks like they did have a quick pause there as well, just to say, oh man, how do we deal with this? But the Onager cut, look at these elite eagles just flooding into the Lisa's economy behind this. And then of course, who's next? You're gonna see Zoopy get taken down, but the preparation's there. He's gone up with the stone gate. Yeah, and look at him. He's starting to wall off the wood line in the middle of the map around the left-hand side. <laughs> Just like, nope, no more Onager cuts for me. I will prepare this, myself. That's it. You're not going to be taken out by surprise. Reuben Stock was meant to be the one making the surprises here, but Leary back into a little, little bit. The Max is on his way to Imperial Age, and if we know anything about the Max, it's a man can launch a four-man assault by himself. He's got a castle down towards the east side of the map against the stone wall there. He's going to be able to push through there. We even have a backup wall coming up by Hera. He knows how the Max plays this one. So he's going to be able to move in and potentially just flood the entire area. He's got his Knight's production on the way. And playing his Franks as well, we know how that ends. Yeah, but just look at Leary's KD. KD. Like, he's 140 kills now. Like, so many of that is villagers from these teams. And it's just, it's not looking good. Like, I don't see how Suomi can come back from this. Like, it's all down to Max. Max has to win oh, the yeah. game or... I think it's probably going to be over because like his team has taken so many losses now. All right, let's have a quick look. I'll go through the village accounts as well, just to kind of highlight what Robo was talking about there. You've got the Max on 120, Valisi on 53, Zupi on 56, and then Rubenstock only on 41, which, look, for what he's accomplished, I feel like he's really making this work. <laughs> over for the wards, the other team in AM, which you have 58 for Leary, 44 for MBL, 64 for Hera, and Hart on 66. So really, when it comes down to it, the Max is really the only player that has his own kind of standing Imperial Age economy here to make things work. And it's just being started to get raided. This is where it is. Leary is in there. He's got Onigas. He's got the Elite Eagles. He's doing what he can. Cavalier in there from the yeah. Max. Might be able to clean this up, but not exactly feeling too confident. I think he can probably defend this for the time being, but, you know, he can't just sit there and defend. He needs to use his economy to push while while they're able to, because eventually AM are going to just boom back into the game while Leary's around killing villagers and harassing everyone, right? Well, that's it. The game's essentially on a timer from here. I would say that AM definitely have the upper hand because this is basically stalling their boom a lot more, whereas basically they can't do anything to really hurt AM at this stage. The Max is really the only one with the capabilities. But behind this, that's it. Exactly what you said. AM can boom up, get some damage, and as soon as that kind of happens, it's an issue. But Hera only just hitting Castle Age now. We understand he's been, you know, getting that boom on, but I don't know if it's enough. Well, he's dropping some monasteries, I guess some monks to help try to defend against these cavaliers, and then probably manganels, maybe? But, like, the push on the right-hand side is not much of a problem at this point, right? It's a handful of throwing axemen and a single trebuchet. That's not the problem. The problem is these three stables in the back of their base with cavaliers flooding around, probably, or they're soon to be paladins as well. I'm guessing some rams at some point, maybe bombard cannons if he gets chemistry. But it's just like, there's this huge green flood of eagles running through the middle of the map, trying to harass Max, charging into his base. There's still some onagers and some guard towers from MBL running around as well. Well, let's have a look. How much resource we kind of got in the bank for the Max there? He's got a lot of gold, got a bit of stone, everything's all right, but end of the day, that food count is hurting, and that's just because look at these farms. They are just so bare. No yeah. villagers being able to get on top of it. Those elite eagles as well, completely upgraded at this stage. All they're really kind of lacking, I guess, is the elite tech at this stage. 
if they get that, they will just cut through those Paladins or yeah. Cavalier, I guess. But the problem stage. is, on the left-hand side, though, Max is about to break through the walls with these capped rams, and then he's got about 15 or so Paladin ready to just charge into Leary's economy. Oh, no, and I guess Leary ran out of stone. He was unable to keep walling. Oh, this is a problem for Leary. Oh, man, I'm actually looking at this one here as well, and... He's pushed Leary back from his own base. The cap rams are in those secret stables that you were kind of talking about there. They're in on top of the economy. If Leary loses his economy behind this, I guess it's not the biggest deal because he was getting slung here a little bit. But at the end of the day, it means it's just going to stun AM even further. Yeah, and the problem is like Pal Cavaliers versus Eagles is kind of a relatively even fight, but Paladin are just so much stronger than Elite Eagle Warriors. It's not funny. One for one, they are just going to murder them. And remember, Max has double Leary's villages. Plus, they're both being triple slung at this point. Exactly. The max at this stage is self-sustaining, which is the big thing. Even on the right now, he's got trebuchets there. He's got cap rams. He's pushing through that side as well. The max is just bringing this one potentially home for Suomi here. It, it looks like he might be able to do this. Like, I didn't think they would get it done. I thought Leary had done enough damage. But the sling is just paying off. Like, they must have slung max, you know, a couple of thousand thousand gold, a couple thousand food in like just the last couple of minutes by itself, which is keeping these paladins going. He's just pushing so oh, hard. Man. This is, this is, I can't believe what we're seeing right now. AM has played super well to hold this one, but the Max just showing utter dominance. I know he's so many people's favorite player, and here he's showing exactly why. I guess at this stage, Rubenstock may have kind of jumped up the list for a lot of people in terms of their favorite as well. But there we go. Leary is getting that unique tech now as well, so he will have the extra attack on the Eagles. But like you were saying, against Cavalier, that's an all right trade. Against Paladin, not so much. Not good at all. And like, they've both still got relatively even military counts, but, you know, Leary's adding in Pikemen. Pikemen are not ideal against Paladin. They don't have that huge <laughs> attack bonus that Helbedeers have. Uh, it's just, it feels like the game is falling away from AM at this point. Because, you know, Max is still pushing Hera. He's got his towers coming. They're being denied by some Manganels, but there's Trebs, there's throwing Axemen charging in here. A bit of a maze of walls at this point, but they're in there. Starting to push him on that side as well. And Rubenstock, Ruben is up to Castle Age. Oh boy. Let's go, Rubenstock. Go, my boy. <laughs> This is phenomenal, but the other thing behind this as well, look at Valise's village account behind this as well. He's up to 98, so he's about to be fully self-sustaining as well. Probably about to kind of move in with his own units, I guess, at this stage. Potentially just to absolutely push for it. Uh, I don't know. We've seen him up to Longsword at this point, but playing as Mongols as well, he's got a lot of options to move from. No, a lot they're, of they're calling GG now. Like, because Leary's down to, you know, less than 40 villages. Half of them, are, half of them were idle before the end of the game. Oh, boy. This is this has to go down as one of the best matches in ECL history at this stage. The fact that Ruben Stock could kind of douche for so long without right. any kind of response this, is amazing in itself. Like this, oh, man, this just, is like there's this huge area on the map in the middle where it's just empty of anything from AM, and that's purely because <laughs> of Ruben Stock, right? Like, like if you looked at this, you think, oh wow, there's like a huge horde of Paladin have come through here and killed TCs and farms and houses and barracks and everything. No, no, it was just a couple of TCs. <laughs> it was Dark Age Rubenstock. Yeah. That's what did this. He's Dark too Age powerful. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Into the Nothing. There we go. Winland evening it up just like that. Yeah, back to the 1-1. One, one. Oh, Max. So many kills, so many deaths, and just that huge army. I, honestly, I think the only important stat at this point is just the amount of sling. Because that's, that's essentially what decided this game. Like, Leary has got a ton of sling. 16,500 resources compared to Max's, which is only wow. 12,000. But you've got to also think about the damage that was done. Rubenstock with the douching slowed them down a ton. And then just Max had such a big economy by himself, right? He has maxed out three of the resources, like high scores, for himself. So I think it's... That sounds like yeah. the max. Like, that's how he plays this game. He will take a little bit of a sling, go completely self-sustaining from there so the rest of the team can build up behind it, and then basically just start sweeping the entire game, and that's what he's done. So I guess we're here at 1-1, one, one, hey? Yep. And just the funniest thing, though, is, like, Leary got to Imperial Age before Rubenstock got Feudal Age. He, he beat him by, like, a good 50 seconds almost. And that's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Age for 32, almost 33 minutes of the game. That is just... Uh, I can't get my mind around it.
That's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Like I was saying early on, we're at a stage in ECL right now where players can't afford to not know the maps, not have strategies. He put the wood in somewhere we weren't, ex- we weren't expecting it to be. And look, strategic choice. And I would say it worked out at this stage. Yeah, it was just, <laughs> it, obviously it works. <laughs> <laughs> He's, just, he's, right he's, on, he's on another level to us. Like, he can just predict. Like He's like, I'm not going to bother walking really far away from my wood line. I want it close so I get as much wood as quickly as possible and just get in there and drop some TCs everywhere. <laughs> I'm seeing in the chat as well. Let's get kind of a signature put on here as well. Let's put like an R in desert in the middle of Chaos Pit just so we know <laughs> what's happened here. You know, trademark it for him. <laughs> just so that way on the map we can, we can remember this day. It was the day Ruben Stock decided to do shout two players. So... Man, I'm loving the fact this one's been evened up. This is great. We are in for just an insanity of the series here, which we've seen before. Everyone knows their strategies. They're trying different things, and the different things are working. This is well rehearsed. So let's see exactly what the rest of the teams have in play for us for the rest of the day. And we have an amazing lineup for today. Yeah, I guess let's just get straight into the third game, which is going to be on I'm excited. Fuji. I'm so hopped up on ridiculous strategies, coffee, like you name it. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. It's like, yeah, like, what sort of crazy strats are we going to see next? Are we going to see Duching again? 